Hello, and welcome to the Business Services Team web tutorial for field trip request entry in Munis. In this tutorial, we will discuss how to use the Fleet Service Request module to input a field trip request. First, navigate to Fleet Service Requests. Fleet Service Requests are located in the Financial section of the Munis menu under Work Orders Fleet and Facilities. From there, navigate to Fleet and select Requests then click Service Requests. Verify that you are on the correct form. Field trips are requested on the Fleet Service Request form, which has a Fleet Rec number. If this field is labeled MIS Rec number or Facilities Rec number, please close the form and check your menu navigation or shortcut. To generate a new field trip request, click Add. The next available request number defaults into the Rec number and your cost center becomes the default requesting department. Click the Servicing Department drop-down and select the appropriate garage for your cost center. Then tab to Activity and click the ellipsis. Select the field trip activity. The code is FLDTRP and click Accept. Tab Past Request Type to the description field and input a meaningful description of the field trip. Include the educational purpose of the trip, as well as any other notes that you wish to communicate to the garage. Information such as dates, times, and destination are inputted in a different field and do not need to be included here. Once the description field is complete, tab past the priority and emergency fields to the cause field and click the ellipsis. Select the field trip code, 900, and click accept. Tab past project then click the Chargeback Accounting tab. Click the ellipsis next to the Rec Department Distribution Code field. Select the accounting code that corresponds with your cost center, such as SA for Due From Internal Funds or PL for Place. All codes include your cost center number. Click Accept again, which creates your request in a status of 2, New. Your Chargeback Accounting lines appear at this point, using the default from the chargeback accounting code. Now we will complete the user-defined fields, which contain all of the critical data that transportation will use when processing your field trip request. Each of these fields is used to generate your trip request, so it is critical that every field is filled out within the requirements of the comment column. First, click the user-defined tab and click Access. Then click Accept and finally, click Update. You will then be able to key information into each user-defined field. All fields marked required must be filled out in order for your request to process. In particular, ensure that the date of field trip field is formatted as two-digit month, followed by a forward slash, followed by two-digit date, followed by another forward slash, and finally, the four-digit year. Time of departure from school and time of return to school must be formatted using a 24-hour clock format. For example, a trip departing at 9.30 a.m. and returning at 2.45 p.m. would have a departure time of 09,30 and a return time of 14,45. If these fields are not formatted correctly, your cost estimate will not calculate. Continue to fill out fields until you reach the end of the list. Once all fields are complete, click Accept. Then click Return to return to the Request Header screen. Once all steps are complete and the request is ready for submission to Transportation, click Submit. A warning message appears to indicate that you will not be able to make changes to your request once it is submitted. Click Yes to proceed. Once you have done so, your request is submitted to transportation and you can no longer make changes to it. In some cases, accounts other than the default chargeback accounting codes may be needed. Prior to submitting your request, you can change the GL coding by clicking on More and selecting GL Accounts. Click Delete and when the confirmation prompt appears, click Yes Delete. Repeat this process for the second line, then click Return. Click Add to begin keying in new GL coding. All input is done in the fields on the bottom third of the screen. For cost type, select Labor. 
skip project string type and project string and ensure that account type is expense. Input the GL coding you wish to use in the account field and input 100 in the percent field. Click accept. After adding labor, you must then add overhead. Click overhead in the ribbon, then click add. Click the ellipsis and select mileage for field trip. The code is FT01. Click accept. Tab to the account and input the same account that you used for labor. Then click accept. Click return to go back to the GL coding detail screen and return once again to go back to the service request. You can then submit the request or make any further changes that are needed. Thank you for watching the Field Trip Request Entry web tutorial. We hope that it was helpful and informative and encourage you to contact the Finance Department with any questions regarding GL coding or MunisHelp at munishelp at pasco.k12.fl.us for issues with entering your request.